Hundreds of artists in Cambridge are painting a pretty bleak picture of their future. They're being evicted from a building right near Central Square that is used for practice space and studios. And now city leaders are trying to help. Our Jonathan Cho has the story that's new at 6. Mixing and mastering music. Jonathan Taft is used to being in control at his studio. We've been here for 12 years. But says he's now preparing to possibly let this all go. I pretty much just sat here and sobbed. The artists inside the EMF building in Central Square are being evicted. Taft says they got the notice a few weeks ago without a reason. Some explanation is better than none. Just tell us. Since then, they've mobilized and reached out to Cambridge City leaders for help. The city will be going in, doing their own inspection and assessment of what the building needs. Mayor Mark McGovern says the city's now trying to take over the building's lease and keep it affordable. I really want to thank Mr. DiGiovanni for um, being willing to sit at the table with us. EMF's owner is John D. Giovanni of Trinity Property Management, a developer with multiple buildings in Harvard Square, including the garage. Would you guys like to talk? While we were getting ready for interviews, he drove up in this black Would SUV like to and told us to leave Sorry. the property. D. Giovanni did not return any of our calls for comment. I said no. These are some of the faces of EMF. More than 200 artists, their stories now pasted up against this light post, a reminder to the community they aren't leaving without a fight. The rents are going up and the owners want to make more money. City Councilor Quinton Zondervan says the artists are a vital part of Central Square's identity, an area already feeling the effects of gentrification from nearby tech startups. We can't ditch the, the creativity of the artists and only focus on the technology because then it becomes soulless. This is the lounge right here where everyone comes and hangs out. While the negotiations continue, Taft says the move out date's now been pushed back until the end of May and hopes this all ends on a high note. From Cambridge, Jonathan Cho, NBC 10 Boston.